Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. This is specifically for CEOs and uh, the advice to them since there is denial that money was not collected to from them and uh, they say they did not promise anybody any grant. So this is an advice to CEOs what they are to do because the way it is now, this month has come to an end and nothing is happening and everywhere is calm no update apart from the last uh, address that was made so just listen to him and if you're a ceo just uh, make heed with this uh, advice that he's giving and it's good all ceos unite and move on so that something will be actualized so that this money will be disbursed soonest see you on the other side uh, for a wonderful saturday that god has made for us I still want to talk again because nobody can shut me up. I have the right to talk. I have the right to associate with those I love that pleases me. CEOs, gullible CEOs, remove your gullibility. Come to terms, unite together. Petition, find a very human right lawyer. Petition Ken Wakama, keep your evidences of payment, your POP, preserve it. Petition Ken Wakama, petition UAG. Let them arrest. Petition him to ICBC, EFCC, and the FCID so that Ken will be arrested and he will come and explain the, the part of the government, the government agency that is keeping him from disbursing this money, that is disbursing, the, uh, delaying this money, so that the CEOs can see the face of the matter and then interface with the government, the government agency, who says we cannot smile while people are dying on daily basis. People have lost everything, churches are scattered. They told us that the one uh, that then no, he doesn't have grant. Can you imagine how stupid somebody will come and tell you, I never promised you I have grant. Why did you collect 100,000? Why did you collect uh, 35,000 pay stand? You did pay stand because you don't want them to trace it. You want pay stand online banking, which the CBA never observed or acknowledge. You want to pay money to uh, pay stand through the CEO, you will pay money, then you collect it. They will not trace you. They will only say you pay to pay stack when it comes to litigation. We know all those your brain, all those your senses. That's why you rush to ITV to go and tell them that you never ask anybody for any money. And you never take any money from anybody. But you remember the Gwanga Chuku 300,000 international community, which about 4,000 NGOs paid. I know how you, how you make your billions. So stop hiding from the net. Come out. We've seen everything. I'm telling the CEOs, unite yourself together. Petition Ken Wakama. Petition him to all these places I called. Let's even add the government, because he said the government authority is in charge. Uh, is, is the authority delaying the disbursement. This, this grant it doesn't belong to government. It's from UN. As far as I'm concerned, UAS is not from government, it's from UN. It's just that the government wants to meddle with, meddle with this thing, uh, to, to take in charge. It, it is not done in other countries. When grants come, the government will hands off and give them go ahead. It's just to give them people to monitor them. But up to now, the government is still holding on to the money because it's what Ken want, wanted. Petition Ken, let's can go and show you people who is the person that is dis delaying the disbursement. And we are going to petition our grand pressure group, right from Abdul to Amopita, to all of them. Those who say they went and sold for grant, they will give, tell us the grant and show us the grant they went and sold for. They think they can just come and use our brain and go. I'm calling everybody, if you have, if you are, if you are a traditionalist, you are a, a herbalist, come up now, this is time to fight. This, if you know that political means, send whatever you want to them. Let them start madness. Let them start, start to confess what they have done to the masses. So many CEOs have been put out, killed in their houses. We don't know who did that. Many people are on the sick bed now. Many people, some corpses are in the mortuary, no money to, to give them the fitting barrier. Just because when a grant came to Nigeria, they want to finish everybody. Ken Wakama don't need to be sorry for. He need to be arrested, prosecuted. He has done the worst ever. Let's see you so unite yourself together, petition Ken Wakama, let him be arrested, and you can show the government NGO, um, government agencies that is delaying the disbursement. Because this time he is a liar, a pathological liar. When you organize the first call, um, the, the verifications uh, and screening in Abuja, he brought two, 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 two criminals called uh, Ato and, uh, and uh, uh, Lawrence. They stood there as the, the authority. We were looking at them as the authority. When verification ends, because they told us once the verification ends, 
Awaf will come again and come immediately to your account before you get home. So that you can tell people, you can start this movement and they will know, yes, you attended the verification. From there, he jumped again and said, no, wait, let's do the thank God for, let's thank God for, let's go for Thanksgiving before successful verification. You see where the guy they told us again that this money has been shared, that God told him in 20 years past that he's going to share money for Nigeria. Where is the money? He has made God a liar. Ken Mwakama has made God a liar. And God is going to deal with him. No mercy. You don't joke with our God. He's a consuming fire. For you to lie against God, you must suffer. Whatever he gives to you, he must take back. He must take it back and deal with you with your family. The way you are dealing with people now. Because you liar against God. That God told you. Well, Who is God told a liar? Somebody who has the mind to do people, do millions of Nigeria, said God told him. Can you imagine? What nonsense, what other nonsense? I'm boring, I'm boring. How can you say we took flight? Flight to Abuja twice. After the press attack, we took flight. They said it's cancelled. We came back. We stayed on, we were in our toy for up to one month. No disbursement. We have to come back. The second one, we left again. Some flights are 200, 180, 150, depending on the category of the, the airline you choose. Up to now, you guys are robbing mind, playing games with Ken. Don't mind that Anya Mupat, a pastor Anya Mupat, he's a, he's a liar, he's a UAG man. He just wants to take over the, 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 the mantle of leadership of CEOs so that they can, they can be praised. If CEOs rise up to your, to your feet, write petitions, start petitioning Ken so that he will be arrested. Let him go and show you the, the agency in the government that is holding the money. Because it's no longer Lawrence or Atto. I heard this morning when um, uh, the right up of uh, this criminal from Taraba, Usin, said that the uh, enemies said they went to Lagos. That one is, is he was the one that promoted uh, the first person to promote the um, UAG. I think that was 2022 or 2023, uh, September. He was promoting it. I know when I saw that man, I know something wrong, something is wrong. But we fought for it, hoping that Ken is an apostle, that he's not going to do that kind of thing. But we have the sense of Tepecon. We have the idea of Capricorn, uh, thinking that he's going to make things right this time. But he never did. All he did again is to do us another one. CEOs, woke up, unite yourself, or petition Ken. Let him come and show you who is the agency holding this money. That's why they told, uh, told us that uh, that uh, Minister for Humanitarian, that she fall sick, she would have signed. She fall sick, she did not have flown her out. That way, once she's, she's already back, uh, by Monday, he will sign everything and disbursement commences. This is three months of, uh, going to three months of the, the Minister of Humanitarian coming back. That's why I say, do you know whether the government is aware of this money Ken is telling you? Write a petition against Ken, even at the government. Call a human rights lawyer. Let them come and answer query. I've said my own, though. I've said my own. Again, again. CEOs, rise up to your feet. Rise up from your slumber. Petition Ken so that we can make something out of it. This one, he gives bribe everywhere. Before you go here, he has given the bribe. Before you go here, he has given the bribe. He cannot give human rights law a bribe. When we, call, when we petition him, they must answer us. Then point to the agencies and show us the money you have, the documents you have, to back the money that you said uh, is um, government authority that is holding you. Thank you for this afternoon uh, uh, um, V-notes. I hope this gets to down to the, to the, to the CEOs.